hey guys welcome back to his channel hope you're doing well i'm also being preserved by the lord and i thank him for this far welcome to the quarantine edition where we are all staying at home and in this season i think it is a blessing in disguise as much as people are being affected maybe business wise economically as a nation you're being affected but there are still positive things that we can grasp or experience or enjoy in this season as we stay at home and so it's not easy shooting from home because a lot of noise in the background you just forgive me for that because children are at home they are also farmers in my neighborhood and so if you hear things like cock crowing just bear with me understand where i stay my stand just disappointed me so i think i'll have to finish this video i'll have to continue this video holding my farm so one let's appreciate the relations that god has put us in wherever you are if that home maybe you're you're forced to quarantine with people you don't like you're a child and maybe your parents are just not you know it's just not working you know those kind of relationships and you're feeling like you are safer at school you're feeling like you're safer at campus but now you're forced to be at home well and good there's a reason for everything that happens and maybe it's parents you're feeling like now this burden is overwhelming you're not prepared for children at home at such a time or maybe you're feeling like ugh, they were better off with the teachers it's a good time to stay with your loved ones you know sometimes we're so busy in our own activities and ways that we even forget these people that you love sometimes you're so you know occupied be it at your work be it school be it whatever you're doing that you ignore the other person or you take for granted such time for tranquility or just time to you know like know each other better and for me this would be the best time to just you know associate with the people that are close to you your neighbors some of them you do, some people don't even know your neighbors and it's not like i know mine better the people you just see some i don't even know who is next door call text you know online chat with them there are people you've never even chatted with and that they are in your contact this is an, an appropriate time to just you know reconnect use this time to reconnect and for the singles who are busy complaining and whining, what a season to be alone. I feel you. I, I know how it feels to be alone. I know how it feels to be lonely. And it's a season you can actually use to pray and claim your breakthrough to be accelerated like never before. It's a good time you can forward your grievances to god instead of complaining and whining and trying to find a quarantine partner and try to you know find other negative ways of keeping yourself busy it's a good time you can use it to pray like when the word of god says that it's not good for man to be alone this is the appropriate time to tell god look at me look at me how lonely i am the word of god says he settles the solitude into family like why are you solitude at this moment tell the tell god you've exalted your word above your name and your word says you settle the solitude into family do it for me in this season yes you can you know for god when you speak his word to him unless there are other factors that are in play his word he always fulfills his word so unless God is, you know, sometimes you're there, God wants you to, God has quarantined you in single food. And just enjoy it. Just try to learn what God wants you to, what God is up to with your life in this season. So stop whining, stop complaining, stop wishing. Let's make our homes a better place. I know there are many people that are feeling some homes that are so toxic and this is just the worst season for them how i pray that god will heal such homes how i pray that god will just remember that his healing power will not just come on these corona mambos but he will remember these toxic families these families that just can't 
you know, put up together. May God remember and show you mercy. It's a good time to learn a hobby that you can do either inside, okay, indoors or maybe outdoors. It's time to watch movies. It's also time to learn, try an art, try cooking something you've never cooked, try doing something you'd never had time for. This is the best time to do it. So try just to be creative in God's timing. We'll be out. It shall be over. The rain shall stop beating us. And also, I'd also like to encourage you to seek God. It's not a holy day, by the way. Stop sleeping like, you know, it's a holy day season. It's also a time to pray because we are not remove ourselves in this setting by our power, by our strength. We just have to seek God's intervention. When the nations are on their feet, we can only trust God to bring us back. And so try and pray, pray for the nations, pray for the sick, pray for those that are affected, pray for your safety. I mean, let's just use it also time to pray and seek the face of God. And before I finish, I'd like to shout out to one Clara Amonde. Thank you, Clara, for being the first one to comment. If you've not watched the, the video I posted two weeks ago, ensure you watch it. Ensure you know my the plans that we have for this channel. Keep safe and may the Lord bless you. Keep you from this plague. And after it has settled, be sure to give him thanks. Goodbye for now. And share your subscribe. Bye-bye.